TTIP is a controversial trade agreement being negotiated between the EU and the US, and it's being done behind closed doors. It presents a really big risk to social, environmental and consumer standards, and it threatens the ability of democratically elected governments to make laws in the public interest. Some people are asking, if we left the EU, would that protect us from TTIP? Well, that's a very good question. My organisation, Global Justice Now, has been trying to stop TTIP for the last two years. The thing we're worried about is that every scenario we've seen for Brexit, far from getting us out of the kind of rules that are contained within TTIP, actually could make things worse. We already know that some of the leaders of the Brexit campaign see deals like TTIP as a model for what they would do outside of the European Union. So how can we stop TTIP? I think the best way is to do exactly what we're doing now. Join with the millions of people across Europe who are unhappy about TTIP. When we launched a petition 18 months ago to stop TTIP, we tried to get a million signatures in a year. We actually ended up getting a million signatures in a month, and by the end of the year we'd got nearly three and a half million signatures. Can you imagine getting that kind of result if we were trying to fight TTIP simply on our own in Britain? Actually, by joining with people across Europe, ordinary Germans, Poles, Greeks, people from Spain, we can defeat this awful treaty. There are now 500 organisations across Europe that are part of the No TTIP coalition, and there are thousands of No TTIP zones, local councils declaring themselves TTIP free right across Europe. It's by joining with people right across the European Union that we can bring an end to the corporate power that's embodied in trade deals like TTIP. The mounting pressure from citizens, campaigners and progressive politicians from across Europe has successfully forced the EU to open up TTIP to more scrutiny. Together, we've managed to cause significant delays to TTIP, and these are big steps in the right direction. It's simply not true to say that the EU could impose TTIP against the will of democratically elected politicians. MEPs in the European Parliament will vote on the final deal. They have the power to stop TTIP. And TTIP can only come into force if national parliaments vote in favour of it too. If we want to stop corporate trade deals like TTIP, the way to do it is make sure we put pressure on our elected representatives, both at the EU and the UK. Both will have an opportunity to stop TTIP. If we want to truly put an end to TTIP, we can only do it as part of the EU and part of a Europe-wide movement. So please, on the 23rd of June, Vote Remain to continue our fight against TTIP and together we can build a social Europe based on solidarity, social justice and environmental sustainability. Only by working together and getting stuck in can we really defeat TTIP. <laughs>